Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? More than wishful thinking, more than fiction, something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. This must be what you believe. I confess my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true, then? The king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. To say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is no tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... Uh, an igniter? Uh, how'd they get rid of those? <laughs> An elder. So he is. No horns, no knife ears. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line! Let's want to get stuck like us! You drew steel. 
I take it you are prepared to die by it. Stand aside! place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. Are you all right? Been worse. And from the sounds of it, you're about the same. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. Think we'll make it? Uh. Let's go. Stop! Watch out! Okay. Yikes. I think we're in a little over our heads. Strong ones ahead. We got to be careful. Yikes. I think we're in a little over our heads. <sighs> checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives? First, we get to the royal capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the army's recruitment center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. Music was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the road a little easier. This 
land of eight tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Ukronia. The year is 785. Ukronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart, and no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. <laughs> By this story of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew. Just look! Whoa. Get on with it then! Drop the dog! Hang him dead! Please! I've done nothing wrong! Lying dog! Don't try to deny it! You trample the law for the fun of it! Let it be known, for misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead! <laughs> yeah! There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Might you spare some coin? Bless you. Oh, can't worry. <laughs> Don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. <gasps> Look, we're not tourists here. We gotta stay focused. Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here. In the whole city, even. The capital's incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Clamars and Roussants than anyone else. Which means a dopey Elder kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about His Majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play, assassination. Shh, careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the Prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> the king dead. His son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power. But not even the kingdom's best. The saint could purify this affliction. Over ten years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest. But uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail.
Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted, so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. So? Whatever will I do? All right, then. Let's go see. Whatever will I do? Let's go see. Oh, come off it. Simply amazing. And what is it? Hmm. So you. You little bastard, you. If I may. An elder? Here? Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. The big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. Now I want one for myself. Yeah, until you see the price tag. Can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, I'm not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. How much is it? You're not really going to fall for that, are you? How would you even know what the Royal Scepter looks like to begin with? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? Uh... A symbol and instrument of the Crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic, world-shattering power. More practically, 
You might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead, with no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We'll need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. Let's head there. 